Brenda Irene Dixon is an American actress famous for her role as Jill Foster Abbott on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Dixon played this role from 1973 to 1980, and then again from 1983 to 1987 when she was let go from the show. Brenda fired from Y&R in a quest to be reinstated, the actress filed a $10 million lawsuit against Columbia Pictures, claiming that screenwriter William J. Bell had blacklisted her after 15 years on the show and that he went on to make both her personal and professional life miserable by hiring mafia cartel judges and attorneys to ruin her life. And as a result, she ended up broke and homeless and claiming to also have been blocked from working ever since. Inside Brenda's Memoir Brenda Dixon, later on, released a memoir explaining her side of the story and her illegal firing and blacklisting, stating that when she left the show the first time, the ratings went low. But when she came back the second time, within months, the show was back up to number one, and also that William Bell felt he owned her, and even though her contract was up, he decided to ruin her career. And blacklist her so that her face would never appear on another show, because he knew that the audience would follow her to another show. According to the soap star, she was fired against her contract that said she had to be given notice even though she only had a few days remaining on her contract and that she was willing and able to work. But Bill refused to let her come back to finish the remaining days on her contract. Him and his friends creating the illusion that she walked off the set and to ruin her career. To back this up, pictures were released of Dixon in a gown stating she walked off the set and quit her job, and as much as she tried finding even the smallest agents to represent her, it all went back to them having to ask William Bell, which was always disastrous. Dixon bitterly wrote that, quote, I was top in my field, yet this was happening. I met and married attorney Jan Weinberg. I moved to Honolulu, Hawaii with lawsuits in tow to cover the damage, hoping to finally handle the matter and vindicate my career and the damage that had been done. I started a new life, stayed 10 years only to discover the same people were in my life in fear I'd speak up and tell the truth. The same people did not want me back in Hollywood ever. The actress noted that the attorneys who supposedly represented her actually worked for William Bell and had dragged the $11 million lawsuit out, and she got nothing for the blacklisting and loss of her career. Finally, Dixon was certain that William and company were also trying to get involved in her divorce case, to make sure she had no assets to fight back, stating that, quote, it wasn't enough to strip me of my career. They wanted me with no assets to fight them, and never back in Hollywood with no money or power. There was a connection into my lawyer, ex-husband, Jan Weinberg, the current 2008 battle.